I can assure you, we are up to code. Shira will stop you. There is no Shira. Yes, indeed, entirely up to code. You pass with flying colors. Take it. This is not because I like you. I'm impressed. You rebuilt that robot. I, I mean, Emily. People usually get mad. I'm not sure if we can trust her yet. But if she's telling the truth, this could give us a huge advantage over the Rebellion. I've made more progress on my work in secret here than I did in a whole non-secret life out there. All these princesses care about is people who are just like them. You wouldn't have to pretend to be something you're not with the Horde. Think of what you could accomplish here. What we could accomplish together. The Horde has a lot of things wrong. Okay, pretty much everything. But one thing they are right about is training. And how can I train if I don't know anything about Shira? Ah! She's okay. You never talked to me. Why didn't you tell me? Because I was ashamed. We'll figure it out together. <sighs> Light Hope is here. She has been waiting for you. <sighs> can I talk to her? You will meet her soon enough. But first, you must let go. What's that supposed to mean? You are not ready yet. Hey, watch it! Why are you here? Anyway, I mean, how did you even find this place? It sent up a beam of light a mile high. It wasn't hard. Why are you looking at me like that? Wait, does Shadow Weaver know you're here? I know what this is about. Oh, I knew you'd be weird about me letting you escape. I told you it's not because I like you. I mean, I didn't, I didn't say anything. Anyway, I didn't do anything. All I did was exist near her. Hey, Octavia! Huh? You're a dumb face! What was that? It must have been some kind of simulation. It's tapping into our memories. Why? I have no idea. Oh, this place is so weird. How can you deal with all of this stuff? It wasn't all bad growing up in the Fright Zone, was it? I mean, you still have some good memories, right? Of course I do. Can I ask you something? <sighs> what is your problem? I will dispose of you myself. <laughs> Katra? <laughs> it doesn't matter what they do to us, you know? You look out for me, and I look out for you. Nothing really bad can happen as long as we have each other. You, you promise? promise? I promise. You never protected me! Not in any way that would put you on Shadow Weaver's bad side. Why do you think I gave the sword back to you in the Fright Zone? I didn't want you to come back, Adora. This thing wouldn't work for me if I tried, would it? It only works for you. Then again, you're special. What's it like being the world's slowest person? Ah, uh, you know, it all makes sense now. Katra, no, that's not how it was. Bye, Adora. I really am going to miss you. You ever meet someone and you just instantly click? An intact data crystal? Oh man, I knew Catra could do it. It's like I was telling you, she's the best friend ever. Just keep it down. I'm going to bed. Princess, there's uh, something here to see you. Don't you mean someone? No, I mean something. Okay, I'll give you a moment to freak out, and then we need to talk. I call it Super Pal Trio. This is me, this is Catra, and I think it's clear. Come on, I mean, I'm a bit of an artist. Bruh. You've always been a disappointment. You will be able to do many incredible things with training. Great, so uh, how long will this training take? Like a day or? Years. All right, everyone, let's get weird. Not even she -Rock can take out an army of horde soldiers all on her own. Then what good is she? Are you okay? Kedra will be leading the Horde when they attack. I have to face her. What happened to you in that first one's temple? I saw Katra in there. I thought I could get through to her, but all I did was push her farther to the side of evil. Hey, Adora. <laughs> Sorry it took so long. The sea kinda sucked today. I got us closer to conquering Bright Moon than anyone ever has. Not to mention the Whispering Woods is still in ruins. Etheria is ours for the taking. Very well, Force Captain Catra. You will have other chances to prove your worth to me as my second in command. I've been trying all these years to mold you into someone more like me, but you're too stubborn and hot-headed. 
and brave like your father. 